This is like the worst game of Clue ever. <laughs> Caleb Francis watching a Serbian film, eating yogurt out, out of the pillow pillow case. Case. <laughs> You win. You got it. You... What kind what of you? lackluster B-list podcast did I get wow. invited on to? Yeah. We have a, I we have it a all. we have a congressman on right now, and you're over there digging phones, dingers. Am yeah, I? we have a future congressman, and we I had we I I had way too many before we started this. So you guys are all rocking the Baja Blast. Yeah, uh, blasts, <laughs> yours looks like a Long Island. Yours is like high octane. Listen, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, is, Baja is a Long Island. Yeah, this is like a ba oh, yeah. yeah, this is like a ba Baja, yeah. Baja Long Island. Like yeah. like oh, funny. I just got <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. what a. F it's Castle. technically a peninsula. Uh -huh. That's it. Well, uh, actually, uh, Baja is it's an an archipelago. <laughs> no, this is pure gasoline with carbonation. Is what happened here. Like this is this is vodka and yellow Red Bull and Baja Blast, and then vodka again, and then a little bit of ninety three octane. If I don't know why you don't keep it stocked in the bar, I've. I've begged multiple times uh but i don't remember a single beg. if you want to make this drink you get yourself some of the blue raz mad dog uh, <laughs> that's why it's not that's stocked why in the bar. don't keep he it won't, stocked he won't stock in the bar it. he will not stock dude, it dude nobody on earth wants to drink blue raspberry mad dog even 2020 the even dude, the people who drink it don't want to be drinking no dude, i bet half of our <laughs> listeners still i enjoy a nice wine glass full of no. blue raz mad no that is dog. the most disgusting <laughs> ever has that been unironically physically drank at a sick I'll, yeah i've drank it multiple times out of my life. you were the only person to drink that <laughs> Out of want. A lot the of times creators are watching this just like, the f is this guy's problem? I've done This the, is rot gut. We know what it is. The gold four locos out of wine glasses. I've done mad dogs out of four Here's the out thing. Of wine glasses. Like, I went through survival school where I had to go through a prison camp where you're tortured. I've thought about going back to that multiple times of like, man, that would be fun to do that again. I have never once thought, man, drinking Mad Dog again would be great. Dude, where my dog, where my dogs at in the chat? Dude, <laughs> let me hear, let me get some roo roo roos in no, the, no, in the, oh in the do not comments, give any dude. roo roo give roos. Me roo roo roos, dude. Don't give him any Please, encouragement. Do not. Give me roo -roo do not. Hey, camera right no, here, no, camera no, on Brandon no, right no. now. No roo roo roos. Do you guys remember uh, Wild Irish Rose? <laughs> oh yeah, that was they the other one. They made that fancy. Yeah. Have you seen no. that? No. It's like they trying to rebrand. No. Yeah, they have like a fancy version of that now in like a $200 bottle. What? Yeah, you can get at like actual Who the fuck stores. wants to pay $200 instead, for Wild Irish Instead Rose. of just the bottom that. shelf of a gas station yeah. now, they have it in like fancy places. The only the only time I see those bottles now and it is just on the side of the road right. discarded. Yeah. Like it's yeah. already been rained or on. Or like next to a dead times. person. <laughs> One time, yeah, actually. <laughs> It's, it's next to someone who died. You guys were acting like this is your first dead body yeah. or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, gentlemen, okay. thank you for having me back. Yeah, I awesome to have it. you, dude. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Hey, get ready. Like, yeah. welcome to the shit show. You got Mad Dog over here hey, trying to get really, roo roo Really quick. Yeah. Half Mad Dog, half Mountain Dew, Baja Blast. Do it, and you're going to thank me. Let me get that roo 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 Not a chat. single person is going to thank gonna you, Caleb. It. They're going to mess you me have a bunch of, No, we're going to get a bunch of lawsuits of people yeah. that died mm -hmm. or wrecked their cars or, or got divorced. It's gonna, I'm gonna like, start, we're going to start a, a movement, dude. We're going to see Twitter <laughs> hashtag saying roo 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you buy a bottle of Mad Dog, you automatically get any country club membership revoked. God, that tastes... This tastes awful. <laughs> this tastes so bad. This is... Something I, did, just, I found out recently, though. That little gas station that's in the middle of Bernie, that's like kind of like... It's, it's always like inconvenient. In the middle of downtown? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of inconvenient. Yeah. They have... They, they stay stocked with Mad Dog, dude. And what? They, they Why have, did you recently find that out? Because I bought them a oh, few months God. ago. Dude, I bought, they had like six new flavors I've never seen. I was like... What? You put Mad Dog in the bar world. fridge Dragon a year ago, and it stayed for a year. Yeah. Not a single person was like, ooh, better. this looks delicious. They knew better. <laughs> <laughs> they knew better that was what? Daddy, that's Daddy's special <laughs> gift. They didn't like to drink that. They, they saw it and they said, uh-uh, Daddy will get mad. Daddy's <laughs> special Just like my juice. childhood. <laughs> Yeah, same. Everybody knows. You like you see a mad dog in the fridge, you say, uh-uh, I'm going to get in trouble with Daddy if I drink that. <laughs> Your Daddy? <laughs> 
Yeah. You're just coming in with a belt. Yeah. I'm no half one better. Naked and I'm <laughs> angry. <laughs> no, one, <laughs> no one better at drinking my mad dog. Dude, you just ordered a 65 pounds of Taco yeah, Bell. Yeah, it was $200 of Taco Bell. What? <laughs> You spent two hundred dollars on yeah, Taco Bell. Yeah, I mean, it's I knew, not as hard as you might. No, think. yeah, I especially knew not had, in Biden's economy. <laughs> yeah, and, and it, Uber is fairly expensive. So uh, as wow. Uber eats, uh, I was very hungry. I knew we had guests coming, so I was like, I'll just order a bunch. And uh, I knew it would come pretty quick. That Taco Bell was like, in, there was weight to it. Dude, it like weight. Hefty, man. Yeah. Like, I feel heavy. Yeah, dude. I'm hot. I, I don't feel know if it's guilty, the, I don't know too. If it's the blast. Dude, because I drank. But I'm hot. <laughs> I drank like Baja four yeah. whiskeys. Yeah. And then ate a bunch of Taco Bell. Oh, I'm fucked, dude. Yeah. I'm fucked right now. <laughs> That's normally a. Well, it's, it's Friday. That's, yeah. Okay. It's, it's Friday. It's night. Friday. Yeah. It's Friday at 445, and I'm fucked. It's almost dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got stuff to do tonight. I got company still coming. Well, they're going to see you blasted, dude. Baja blasted. <laughs> they're going to join in on a blast. Should I order more Baja blast no, for the company? No, no, 200 no. more dollars yes. to Taco dude, Bell. Listen. We can go get Mad Dog. But yeah. we're like, yeah. No, we should not do any of that. This try your dis- this disgusting poverty beverage. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to do it. What do you got over there? Uh, Jack and Diet Coke because I got to you know, watch my hourglass figure. Yeah. You actually do. Could look great. You look great. Yeah. I've just lost all my muscle weight after my fight. Yeah. Just, yeah. So, mm. but you're still really looking cool. pretty damn good. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. It means yeah. a lot. Yeah, thanks. I, 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 I don't, I never look good. Have you complimented mm. your homies lately? Yeah. You should. They, yeah, you yeah, should. Feel, you know, they remember it. They do. Yeah. You'll remember that more than. Yeah. You're like, boy, anytime man. a girl says it, you just assume she's lying. Yeah. You're just like, it's like what are you trying to get? Bullshit, what you diamond bitch. you trying you to get bitch. today? You raise a You say, what'd you say to me? Line, I don't think you could do line, that. Bitch, no, you shake it. <laughs> no, no, that's you can't. What do that. I do. And then you get pepper sprayed, and yeah. then you do it again next week. Every time yeah. they compliment me, I shake them. I say, "Why are you lying? Why are you lying?" Does it work? <laughs> no, dude, I get in trouble every time. <laughs> I've got like three TROs. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I get so many restraining orders. Stop lying to me. Stop lying to me. I'm crying. <laughs> Caleb the DV Francis. <laughs> you wet yeah, your it's, pants. It's bad. Yeah, I'm why'd you pee? Me. Yeah. You're like, I don't, dude, I don't know I why I do that. <laughs> Maybe I should see somebody. <laughs> Who are you going to see? Oh, like a psychiatrist? Like a child doctor. <laughs> a child doctor, a psychologist? Yeah, maybe so. A psychologist? A child urologist. Yeah, a, child a urologist. cyclist? Yeah. Take your time. Sound a cyclist. Out. You got it. Are you going to see a cyclist? No, I'm going to go see Lance Armstrong about my pee problem. I'm going to see Lance Armstrong about my pee pee. <laughs> I, yeah, cyclists don't go to heaven. No, they Sorry. don't. That's just no. you know. I've never Lance Armstrong. Him. Take a look at this dick. Yeah, <laughs> tell him to watch this podcast. I will. I'll text it to him. Uh, I got his phone number. I never really hated cyclists as much until I moved down here. There's a, f- a fair abundance mm. of them, and they they yeah. really do suck. Yeah, it's, Dude, cycl- it's, it's, it's nobody wild. thinks a cyclist is cool. It, it's it's kind of wild to me, right? Like yeah. I, mean, I know there's memes and stuff about it, but like it's real. Like they do not. They're like fuck you. I'm a truck. I'm a I'm a car now. Like wait for, but they, then they don't obey the car rules. <clears throat> no, they don't. Like it's when it's convenient. Yeah, yeah, dude, I hate it. Not only that, but like, dude, I don't care what the law says. If I'm whipping it at the speed limit around a corner and you're going 45 under, you're gonna fucking die, dude. You die. That's you just die. I, not on purpose. Yeah, I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Yeah, I'm but not on well, purpose. That guy was an idiot. Yeah, that guy had mental problems. Dude, we should just stop that. That's one of those things that should just be deleted. Yeah, like if you ride a bike on a road. Get the fuck out, man. Get and it's not like it's a out. poverty thing either. It's no. all like middle-aged white guys who you know own a fucking BMW. Dude, those bikes are like 10 grand. No, they're most definitely. Of them. They're like they're so expensive. Uh, like it's, a, it's an ego thing. Texas Dave is calling me right now. Mm. Should we? <coughs> let's just let's pull him up. Yeah. Hi, you're on time for pie right now. Hey, yo, I was, I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Hey, I got a Chevy Cavalier that's got a turbo kit off of my Uncle Fierro on it. You guys want to come over and get naked and do donuts around each other with it? Wait, wait I don't understand. Why, why would we have to get naked to do donuts? Don't question the, the man. Oh, the Filero has got it. You have to be naked driving a Filero. <laughs> That's the law. Pontiac made you sign a contract when you bought one, then you get one new. You got to drive it naked. I think there was a recall because of that. Yeah, yeah. I think there was a recall. Yeah. I think something illegal. I've seen that. Kids kept yeah, getting burned. Yeah. Kids, <laughs> kids kept getting burned. Yeah, that was it. The uh, total recall. I seen yeah. it. No, that, that was, was the fourth pin. The story of buying the Pontiac Snail. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. Uh, we we welcome we welcome all your advice. 
Okay, I'm going to get in my car and come. It's a, Z, it's a ZX-12. I'm going to come down there now. We're going to fucking fuck, fuck donuts in it. Cream-filled donuts. That's, y'all going to dig your jiggy wiggies on your peepees, and we're going to fill the, fill the donuts with cream. Dude. What? Awesome. Okay. I can't wait for that, dude. Hey, we my, got uh, my uncle my uncle Kitas caught him and he probably got his he probably got his his dog's tomahawk when he comes there. I'll be there in a bit. Okay. Just Bye. say yes, the gate is open. Yeah. Just by- that sounds like everyone I've ever talked to on cars and trucks of Craigslist. Dude, that's, that's every person. That's every person that would come into Advance Auto when I worked there that had a, an auto shop that they ran out of they their sound garage. Like Boomhauer from Dude, King of the Hill. They they legit. There was a handful of them that like when I would see them coming in, I would like slink to the back of the store and let somebody else deal with them because I could not understand a fucking word they said because it that that was real. Yeah. That was that's a real person in every state. It's not just West Virginia and like. Alabama, Did, shit. They're, they're everywhere. For a man that doesn't drink, he really think, pulled off yeah. a hillbilly that was drunk. Yeah, the Boomhauer. But oh, imagine yeah. if he did. Oh my God! I don't know if Might we want to see that. Yeah, yeah. might be bad. He'd oh. probably be one of the best drunk drivers on the planet. That, oh, true. Hands down. True. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Drifting we, away from the police. <laughs> yeah. They just oh, can't just catch go, him. We're he's just going to make him crash. And, he, and, he, and he's just got him in a loop around town. Like, fuck, fuck. Like, the, he's wrecked everyone. Every one of the yeah. vehicles is rolled and, like, oh, God. broken wheels yeah. over a curb. And he's still just doing laps around the same the same area of town. Has no like, idea he's being chased. Just having fun. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. That would be really Maybe we funny. We should make that video. We Final make Sand, it. part two. He's part drunk two. now. He's drunk. Yeah. He's Grandpa drunk. Got drunk. Grandpa's drunk. <laughs> Tokyo drunk. <laughs> He's drunk and on the weed. Kevin's Dude. in the passenger seat. <laughs> Why haven't we, uh, like, we were doing so many cool drifting videos. Why did we never put Tokyo Drift in there? Like, would it have been expensive for us to get? No. The the sound, the, the song? No. Oh, God. What a I mean, go on TikTok. I mean we're about to get a, a drift car delivered here in the next two weeks that is wrapped in spoop. Well, I mean, e- there it is. We have to put... <laughs> we have to... <laughs> wrapped in spoop graphics. And hot sauce. Oh. And hot sauce. Oh, those don't belong together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they very Anything much are together. together. Anything it's, belongs together if you bring it up. Florida man oh. lunacy hot sauce on the hood and spoop. Poop, and the whole car's covered in shit. <laughs> Have you not seen these yeah, graphics? I've seen it, but I didn't, I didn't know the hot sauce. You've not seen it. these? No. I'll show you. Have you heard what Spoop is from us? Oh, oh, I heard last time I was okay. on the show. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm very okay. well into, uh, I couldn't remember. intimately familiar yeah. with the Spoop. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, so this is what our dr- my drift <clears throat> car is going to look like. Oh, Christ. He's gross looking, dude. You have so a mascot man. now? Yeah, dude. He's yeah. nasty. It's like Hamburger Helper Man. It's but, really but, dirty, dude. <laughs> it's really dirty. Yeah. He makes me feel uneasy. It's like Hamburger <laughs> Helper's voodoo doll. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's an like, awful thought. Yeah, it's like Edward yeah. Scissorhands. It's like Hamburger Helper. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. But for your asshole. Yeah. What's it, who's the guy that made Edward Scissorhands? Uh, it was Johnny Depp, right? No, no, no. no Who it made it? It was, you know, Tim Burton. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Tim Burton's yeah. fucking hamburger helper is the spoop. Mm. <laughs> you, you remember that helping hand video from back in the day? Like it was like back in the eighties, where it was like the the help that they basically it was a horror parody of the hamburger helper. Really? Hand. Yeah, it's, it inspired like the sort of the scene I think in Evil Dead Two, where he's oh, like, shit. it's like the hands like dragging him underwater. Or Have you seen Idle Idle Hands? That movie? Oh, that was Devin that Sawa. Was, I think that's related, or I think yeah, that's at I think least it's the probably, same It's probably based off of that as well. Devin yeah, Sawa. Where he lose control of his hand. and He yeah. cuts it off, I think, and it's yeah. still trying to kill him. Damn, dude. Yeah. Everybody had the same fucking idea. Yeah. Devin that. Sawa was, was hot. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Is that a guy? What? <sighs> don't, don't. don't. <laughs> what? Don't start. It's a girl. Yeah, it is a girl. As far as we know. Yeah, Devin, don't look Devin's into a girl's it. name. Don't look into it. Devin's a girl's name. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Devin Sawa. This is a girl. Yeah. She's hot as shit, dude. Super hot. Okay. She's fucking blonde. Okay, okay. Like, really toned. Jacked. Muscular. Huge balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be a bigot. <laughs> yeah. It's 2024. Yeah, she's pretty cute, I guess. She's super cute, dude. Balls super cute. cute. Devin man. Sawa was so hot. Okay, okay. Definitely yeah. the guy in that movie. What? That's it's a man. Thought. No, that was the girl. Damn, Damn it, it's not. No, in Idle Hands, Devin saw was the hot chick and it was his blonde girlfriend. Oh, no. Damn it. 
Jessica Alba. Good Jessica names. Alba was in Idle Hands? Yeah, dude. Are you fucking uh, uh, serious? <laughs> She's a babe. Yeah. Tom Green was in it, too. Oh, Tom yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Up until this point, I forgot you were in the room with us, and it frightened me, actually, to hear you. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> Caleb's blocking you perfectly. Yeah, from yeah he's just got... You have a lot of mass right now. It's about to get crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, because we're over here eating Taco Bell and drinking yeah. whiskey at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. How this many is... calories is your new diet, or do you just not care? You're just going to just eat everything uh, Well, you obviously, like, I ate, like, shit today because I hadn't ate it all yet. So I was like, fuck it. I was like, I'm probably not going to eat again today either. Maybe, like, later I'll do, like, my protein yogurt bowl that I do, like, before bed. Hmm? Yogurt ball? Bowl. Oh. I wish, dude. Just get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> protein yeah. yogurt. You just, you're packing <laughs> this thing the size of a basketball, and you then just, you eat it? You slurp it like a <laughs> yeah. fucking bug's like water. Water, just, yeah. I serve it in a pillowcase no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. while he's watching a Serbian film. Yeah, oh, <laughs> second down. This is a wonderful mental yeah. picture. <laughs> All Caleb, right up there. Caleb <laughs> eating a gallon of yogurt while watching a Serbian <laughs> film <laughs> out of a pillowcase. <laughs> I've cut like the tip of it, and it's just like on my shoulder. I'm just like sucking it out. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the worst game of Clue ever. <laughs> Caleb Francis watching the Serbian film, eating yogurt out, out of a pillowcase. <laughs> you win. You got dude, it. If you, if you could just fill call. a pillowcase full of fucking yogurt, yeah, dude. Know, just slurp on it all. I want to see this. I got it, like I'm, hanging over my shoulder. It's so wet. It's like slush. There's like mold on my back. From yogurt. <laughs> Why? We need to. We need to have. It's just big yogurt, dude. <laughs> That's just big gogurt. In a fucking pillowcase. <laughs> Dude, can we make that? Can we make That's big what the go-gurt? recipe's called. Big gogurt. Big gogurt. <laughs> it's just a king size Step pillow one, go, go to bed. Big size. I'm, I'm texting this. I want to do this for a video. <laughs> big gogurt. Big pillowcase <laughs> full of yogurt. <laughs> Oh God! Oh. We need to have we need to have them. Well, first off, whatever you left in that glass is starting to mold in the bottom. That's not me. Well, that was whoever was our guest last. No, because even I was like, it's crystallized. Oh dear, whatever. Oh, it don't let it get near the cheeseburger. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah. You might there's a it. film. And they might combine. Let me move yeah. that away from you. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, we don't, we don't want you. <laughs> it looks like cobwebs are going yeah, on. It, over yeah, there. it's a crystal cobweb. Uh, and invent a new. Yeah. Uh, what we should theory. have the audience do in the chat, though, is vote on whether you like us to get fucked up before this or not. Yeah. <laughs> because this is a fucked up episode. Yep. Because we were drinking whiskey and eating Taco Bell. Oh, oh mm-hmm. yes. It was, it's been really great so far, though. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all that matters, really. Yeah. As, as long as you have fun happy, when you're yeah. here. That's, I just hope everybody's <laughs> having a good time. Good time. <laughs> so, Brandon, what all do you have going on? At the moment that you're excited well, about, that's a uh, lot. A couple things, man. Yeah. A lot of my time nowadays is just devoted to uh, the congressional run. Yes, yeah. it's honestly it's going shockingly well. That's awesome. So we've raised really a cool. shitload of money. We've been yeah. all over the the district, uh, just meet with people, and I really think we got a good shot at taking out the incumbent. Yeah, which I, is kind of wild. It's so it's funny. It's funny, it's awesome. Dude. Yeah, it's yeah, so but you cool. just said a really good fact about him that we should probably talk about right now. Oh, do you want to get into it? I don't know how much you guys talk politics. Sure, no. So. Yeah, but still, you, yeah, people awesome in Texas need we all to love know. You. Yeah, yeah. Sure. People in great, Texas yeah. need to know. So the whole the whole gripe I have with Tony is that he's a, he's a rhino turncoat. Like he's a Republican, but he votes for you know he voted for Joe Biden's gun control. Yeah, yeah. He votes against border initiatives. He's just a real wishy washy. He voted for vaccine tracking databases. Like he's sure, just a yeah. weird dude. But he uh, actually was just so there are twenty five uh, Republican congressmen uh, representing Texas right now federally. 24 of them just signed a letter uh, basically backing uh, Governor Abbott on the, the border issue right now against yeah, yeah. Joe Biden. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was the only one who didn't. He refused to sign it. Mm. Out of 25 Republicans, 24 of them signed this letter. Yeah. He I just went on dictionary.com and typed in sucks and... Tony is right at the yeah. top right here. I had nothing to do with that, by the way. <laughs> I mean, dude, um, Tony sucks. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, anything political. I could never say anything correct political. Uh, but, you know, I see memes and shit. That's about yeah. how I stay in the loop. Um, we saw I don't think ta- that's about, how like, you should stay in the loop. They're talking about, like, who was it? Somebody from fucking Germany or something? Like, Putin, they're trying to get Putin or or some some other foreign power to come 
and help back Biden about this, that Texas needs to stand down and listen to like what well, he's would that saying. Be the UN or maybe. They have yeah, some I'm, not, other, I'm not, some, not sure exactly what you're talking about. We, yeah, yeah, some uh, something floating around that like some, they've got some other foreign power coming in to help team up with Biden to try and tell Texas to step in line. Realistically, uh, I, I don't think hilarious. anything's actually yeah. going to come out yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, like it's, that sounds No, they're insane. all a bunch of fucking yeah, that sounds yeah. Insane. hot air. Yeah. Are you tired of not having enough tactical accessories? Mm. Yeah. I mean, we have all these guns. But what are we going to do with them? I wish that we had some kind of monthly box that would send us an assortment of cool parts for all of our tactical gear. There is one, and that's TacPack. Whoa. TacPack is a monthly subscription that sends you gun stuff and knife stuff and I think just man stuff. I mean, these are just examples of things you get in a monthly box. Ooh, AR-15. It even sitting in my size. And it's your size. Yes. Wow. A SOG knife with a nice holder? Ooh, a bronze gold. Look here, your group. Wow, imagine just getting a box where someone sends you an AR rail. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool stickers and patches. Whoa, that's basically that's, you. That's me. Yeah, that's you, dude. TacPack knows me. And we have a code for TacPack. P-I-E. That's oh. right. Pi does not get you a discount, but it does get you a free box. With your first order, you get a spare oh, whole yeah. box valued at $60 at least. Mm. So head on over to TACPAC.com, use the code PI, get your $60 valued free box, and get yourself a monthly subscription for men. For really cool men. Or really cool women that also like tactical accessories. Yes. We're not discluding them at all. We know you're out there. What's worse than a stinky tate? I'll tell you. Absolutely nothing. Taste of Mando Invisible Cream Deodorant. Stanky tea. Not <laughs> stanky tint. Tint. Stanky tint. <laughs> stanky tint. Thanks to Mando Invisible Cream Deodorant, stinky tint is a thing of the past. And that's why this episode of Time for Pie is sponsored by Mando. And if you're a more traditional fella and you love the deodorant stick, Mando has a smooth solid. Mando is a whole body deodorant and has a 72 hour odor shield for any part of your body. That means pits, packages, and feet. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a stick of solid deodorant, a tube of cream deodorant, and two free products of your choice. Oh, and don't forget free shipping, Caleb. Ooh. And as always, our lovely little listeners, we have a discount code for you, and that is PIE. P-I-E will get you 40% off a starter pack. And that's at shopmando.com. S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O dot com. Shop Mando. Yeah. Like, first off, you're not going to do shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck would ever happen? It's just, and especially with the, the red lines, you know, the lines in the sand that, yeah. that Biden's drawn so far, it's like, you better stop and pull all your guys out by, you know, this date at 1.30 p.m., or else we'll tell you to stop again. Again and give you an, yeah. another... Like, nah, <laughs> nah, we're not going to do yeah. that. You're a fucking clown, dude. And it, it, it sucks that it takes a governor in a wheelchair to actually stand up for something. <laughs> Zing. That shows how weak yeah. the administration yeah, is. Yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been weird. Dude. Yeah, I'm sure. But, well, it's going to be fun you. when yeah. you get that yeah, seat. Yeah. Because, again, you, you're just going to hang out with Morgan Latrell. You guys are going to be a powerhouse Texas couple. Yeah, right. There you go. That'd Texas, cool. A Texas power couple? Texas power couple. Power right. That sounds like, we fucking, like, that sounds like an urban dictionary. We're entry. men. <laughs> We're men in tights. Manly men. We roll around the woods looking for fights. <laughs> 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 I still want one of those hats that Dave Chappelle wore in that movie. Which one? You could in, the, the Men in Tights yeah. movie? He had like the regular Robin Hood hat, but it was like the snapback in the front. Yeah. <laughs> it has been so many fucking years. I didn't know Dave Chappelle was in that movie. Yeah, dude. We're I haven't seen the movie in like a decade. We're Men in Tights. I literally just talking about that uh, movie earlier with a girl. Um, what? Yeah. Uh, that is the movie where- Like a real girl? Yeah. A real girl, real life girl. With a hole. She's talking about wearing, uh, she wanted to cosplay as- She the, goes to a different school, dude. What's the, what's the girl's name? The girl that's so hot that he's in love with? Uh, Maid Marion. Maid Marion. Yeah, yeah. talking about uh, she wanted to cosplay as her with like the chastity belt and all. Locksmith. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Locksmith. I was like, I was like mm, that sounds really cool. Except the chastity belt. No, the chastity belt would be fun. Like, give me some like lock picks. Uh, you would. Uh, I think, hi, I think you could probably. Here. <laughs> you could probably break it. Yeah, I could just rip it off, dude. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I think like, her femurs go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm daddy's home. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck oh fuck. You are King Arthur. <laughs> yeah. There's no sword in the stone over yeah. here. You just I'm broke the a damn sword stone. Here comes the sword. I broke the stone. Yeah. Here comes oh fuck the my sword. stones. <laughs> oh no, my stones. <laughs> Yeah, that's Whoa. how we would hope that would go. God, we really shouldn't drink Mountain Blast mixed with alcohol. It's so good. Yeah, because oh, that seems like a great idea. Yeah, you, what should, you, guys talking about. you should drink the Mountain Dog, which is half Blue Reds. <laughs> We're not drinking the damn half, Mountain Dog. Half though. Blue Reds. Did you just name it right now? <laughs> no, I, I was trying to remember it because oh, I, okay. as I had a name for it. That's the Mountain Dog. You can use regular Mountain Dew, but Baja Blast is. So. <laughs> you need to have that. I'll make those for you guys soon. That sounded uh, like a threat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make you guys try that. No, soon. no, it sounds. You'll be drinking what it sounds soon. like <laughs> is it sounds like it's too thick. It's not, dude. It's refreshing. I didn't uh, even think there about. There is nothing like Mad Dog is liquid headache. <laughs> by the way, like that's what the Baja is for. It's like the opposite Baja's of like liquid IV. It, it touches it, your it lips, and, and, and it's just <laughs> and you instantly liquid dehydration. Like, oh, <laughs> What is this, sand? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, what kind Alcoholic of... Alcoholic sand? This is, this is malt liquor. Yeah, it is. Ooh, yeah, it is, dude. That shit's wild. Ugh. God, I haven't had to... Ugh. What's the worst thing you guys drank growing up? Wild Irish Rose. Okay. That was, that was, the, that was the one for you? Yeah. I mean, like, you've drank Mad Dog and stuff. We've talked about it. There was yeah, a lot of... Because there was a snowstorm, and it was the only thing that you can get. Uh -huh. Oh, no. And so we just had places. to drink mad or hypnotic. Remember hypnotic? Oh. <laughs> they tried real hard to make that cool. You yeah, and I used yeah. to drink hypnotic I on purpose. That one. Yeah. No, you had it. I just happened to be there. And yeah, drink but it with you, you and I drank it. Hot I did girls, not purchase it. Hot girls always had it. You know what we should that resurface? What, what did you have to mix bottles, with it to get yeah, the like color to change? Balls out of their purses of hypnotic. It was Mountain Dew like and hypnotic because it was blue and green. It was another liquor you had to mix. Purple or something. Yeah, it was like a really cool blue bottle. It was a cool blue. Yeah. You know what? You know what we should bring back up, Dave, is the uh, the know. pictures from the hookah party. Remember the hookah party we had? Oh, I'm wearing I, a white like soft hat. Yeah, and I got my broken arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those photos. We should just cycle those photos in one of these episodes. Be like, I only have one. What? I only have one. One photo? Yeah. No, I have a whole album of all of them. Oh, I only have one of it's us, like all, you, me, and Lori. And no, all that night. That's cool. I mean, and this is like 2004. I've got like. Three hookahs upstairs, dude. No, we could just no. Nope. We could have no, some sir. Mountain dogs. No, we could mix up. Dude, you're some, talking. About, you're talking about a headache. This headache's could, gonna last for a month and a half. Mix up. Some oh, we're stuff. gonna do mad dog we and do hookah. Do dude, my <laughs> fucking head hurts. You might actually fucking die. Well, okay, because you actually, like, in true Jared Taylor fashion, decided that the entire bowl should be in your lungs in one pull. Yeah, that's why you had a headache for the next week. Oh. Everybody else just. Takes a hit of it and it's like, oh, that was tasty. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, nope, it's gone now. I never really got the hookah thing. Oh man, we went through a huge you can get phase. Fucked of up, up on yeah, it, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's awful. Yeah, if you like mix shit in it, for sure you're trashed. But there for a while, we just did the hookah. Yeah, just like pure the, hookah. The oh, I was just was doing the hookah. hookah. Was like they serve bars took all and shit of it. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like smoking a tasty little fruity cigar. But yeah, if you're having trouble starting it or some shit, man. There's been times that I like got sweaty. Like I'd. I couldn't get it going, and then I'd have to just like lay down and sweat oh for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I fucked up. Sounds awful. Up. Do you know how many times I've passed out under a table in a bar from hookahs? No, just in general. In general, I feel like one is a lot. No, I, it's probably been like thirty. Yeah, Dang, I was gonna say at least yeah. more fingers and toes. Like than I've had, have. I've had like where I was the musical act for the night, and then I ended Uninvited. up sleeping under a table before in or after the show during. During oh, the show? there's photos of this. Yeah, oh, there's video. Oh How did that photos. happen? Did you just walk off stage? I don't know why my music yeah. career hasn't taken off. I, just, <laughs> 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 I remember when we lived. You know, during the show, I just died. Yeah. When we lived together in Florida, there was more than one instance where you woke up in the back seat of my car, still dressed as a pilot in your own pirate pirate, pirate. in your own driveway. Yeah, I scuffed up your entire door that one time in them boots. That's fine. I crashed that car. <laughs> I, I I woke up in the yard. Dressed as a pirate in the front yard in Florida, like, and I had a full bottle of rum, and I was just face down in the grass. What was the occasion? No, he just was going through a Friday. phase. That was just pirate phase. Yeah, I would, I would uh, dress it's as not a phase, mom. Trust me, dude. I had like a really dope, like, movie quality pirate outfit. Some pictures. And you walk around 
like downtown Destin, Florida, everybody is like, oh, can I get a picture with you? And then it, eventually a bunch of girls are like, I want to fuck the Party with us. <laughs> I'm going to fuck that pirate. Fuck that yeah, pirate. Yeah. yeah. And then it happens. Remember that one kid that was like 106 pounds and kept trying to show off his abs? Yeah. And he, and he had a long board too, right? Uh, yeah. See, how if you're under 150 man. pounds, abs don't count. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like, and then there's like people guy. are Just like, dude, you should come on our boat. Like, dude, that's your sternum. <laughs> dude, where are your guts at? <laughs> and uh, like, there's a, so there's a pirate festival that goes on in Fort Wong. Billy Bow Legs. Billy Bow Legs. And like, so Dave and I, are out filming this whole thing. We're with the big DJ that's performing at Billy Bowlegs. You remember and who went to the hospital in the first hour? That is literally what I'm about to tell them. <laughs> Heather gets fucking trashed. What? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Dude, that's so wild. Falls off a boat I and lands on Heather her, falls off a boat? Yeah. <laughs> lands on her knee. Not her boat at all, We're too. Friends. Doesn't, even know, doesn't even know whose boat it is. To, and to set the scene further, this is like waist-high water. This yeah. isn't like she oh. fell off a boat in the middle of the sea. Yeah. No. Yeah, that would have been scary. I don't know if that's better or worse. Yeah. It's way worse. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the, the engine is like so she still propped up. Hurt herself so she off falls the off the boat and like her knee hits the prop oh. and just slices open and... Then the paramedics are there with a floating backboard. They've got her on there. She's bleeding everywhere. She's calling for, like, get Jared. And Dave and I, like, see her, like, Jared, I'm going to the hospital. We just kind of pretend like we didn't see her. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, what the fuck? She saw that we pretended. night, I just started, you bitch. <laughs> no, it was the middle of the day, dude. Push her it was out to three see. Three o'clock in the afternoon. We weren't ready to leave. We literally just got she's there. Like, I can see you ignoring me and David and I are like trying to like scurry away. She's like, hey, tell him to come with it. They're like throwing her in the ambulance. And then, like, I get a text from her dad, like, Heather's in the hospital. Where are you? Oh, God. She's like, you just fucking left me. I'm like, dude, we were in the middle of the party, party, dude. You fucking already fucked yourself up. Like, like, your fault. Yeah. To be this fair, I don't know nothing about treating that wound. Dude. Yeah, she was fucked up. She was in better hands. That's pretty hilarious. But then, like, a few weeks later, I fucking wreck a jet ski. Yeah. Because I was, shouldn't have been on one. Yeah. But someone was like, ride this jet ski. I was like, this is a great idea. Yeah. I fucking, like, completely cut my entire eyelid open. And, like, come back and I'm bleeding all over my face and like someone's like we gotta take you in how'd you cut how'd you cut it uh like you know falling off the jet ski forward into the uh, into yeah, the, jet into ski the like the jet ski hit me yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I fell I fell forward and then the jet it ski ran you. me over in my eye uh but I get back to my house and I'm like calling every pararescue man that I know cause you know there's a bunch of PJs in Herbert Field and I'm like I'm like, hey, can you, do you have a suture kit? Can you come sew my face up? And they're like, what? No, I moved to Kirtland. <laughs> they're like, I don't even live there anymore. One down at the list. Yeah, I'm like, all right, cool. I call another PJ. And eventually I just pass out in my bed. Hmm. I wake up like six hours later and the whole thing is just covered what? in blood. I'm like, oh man, that could have been bad. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> I want water and salt. And then Dave's just like comes out of his room sipping on a fucking, on a mountain blast. He's like, oh, you're still alive? <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure I said, what did you learn? <laughs> and then Heather laughed at me for that. That's good. She was like, yeah, you dumb bitch. You, you left me in the me. hospital. Box. I'm like, where was your boyfriend? Yeah. Like, oh. he, uh, he oh. was there, oh. I think. Okay, well, this is a different no, story. No, he yeah, might have okay. fell asleep in the living room that day. Oh. oh, I think he didn't. I think he specifically didn't come. Oh. He's like, you guys are going to Billy Bowlegs? He goes, no, fuck that. Heather's going to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> a prophet. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he does look like Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. Cool. He, he, we used yeah. to call him Tack P. Jesus. So, yeah, like, like, and then, yeah, after, like, she's in the hospital, he's like, oh, she ended up in the hospital? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It's uh, crazy. That's why I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, also, that like a very functional relationship. <laughs> <laughs> also, the little body of water it was in was 99% piss. Yeah, it was Ooh. gross. It was not the ocean. It was the bay. 
Yeah. So it's brown. Yeah, and stinky. But we have a video. Like we have all this on video. So immediate sepsis. Because I, I was yeah, wearing right, a right, I was see. wearing a skateboard helmet with a GoPro. So there is footage of Heather screaming and us like, oh fuck. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, it's pretty good. That'd be fun to see. You just see in the video like. Jared Taylor. You hear me like, Dave, Dave, over the Dave run, run, <laughs> run, Dave, run, run, run. We got to get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, she was so mad. Damn, that's funny. Anyway, yeah, and then we should take you guys to Crab Island. Like, I think me, Dave, and Heather should take the entire group back to Florida and show you what this looked like. And that's in Destin? 13 years ago. Yeah. The last, yeah, the, the only time I've ever been to Destin was when I was uh, testifying against the ATF. So I, I had not, a, not as fun of a time in Destin yeah, as you yeah. guys did. Let us show you. Yeah, I went to. I, I, I think the craziest we got there. We went to a fucking Margaritaville. Mm. Ew. Yeah, we went. That's way crazy. We were there. only there for the fucking evening, basically, and mm. then left the next morning. <clears throat> oh, do you remember? I uh, there's a big Irish bar, both in Destin and then what's it called? Uh, mix something, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I was playing music there. It was it was a first date for me. Oh, they were all first dates. Don't lie to yourself, David. Come on. Anyway, this was a chapter in fishing with nets called "I Guess I'll Add Her to My Lease." Uh, <laughs> you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. When I had to carry her down the stairs. So like, I'm playing live music. There's probably thirty of our friends all there that know us and stuff like that to watch me play. Uh, McGuire's. Yeah. Is what it's called. I told you it was yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So playing at McGuire's, I'm doing my whole Irish acoustic set. The girl I bring I know where you're talking about, on a actually. first date, it's right in Destin, right over the bridge. And like you? on the non water side? Yep. yep. Yeah. 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 So we're all there. Uh, and as I come on, like I, I do an hour and then we take a break. Everybody drinks for a little bit. And then I do another hour. When I come off, Dave's like, your date is uh, passed out. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Like, It's only like 10 or 11, right? Remember? And mm -hmm. we're on the second floor. I had to carry, like she was dead asleep. I carried her down the stairs. I had to leave all my equipment and stuff there. Because they're like, the people in the bar are like, you can't sleep in the bar. <laughs> and put her in Dave's car. Dave drives us home. And then she doesn't leave my house for 19 days. And while I'm at work, oh. I don't even know where she lives. But while my, I'm at work, Dave would take her back to whatever house that she lived in to get clothes and new stuff. Every no, I, day, I took her to work. Oh, you took her to work. Yeah. Every day we thought that she would leave. But then every afternoon I would come home from work, she'd still be there. Yeah. I, like I would take her to work, but I never picked her up from work. She just found her way back. It was at 19 days Uber. in a row. Where, where, guys, where did she work? Doing it? Uh, guys, she was like a waitress at... Some cafe or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's Johnny Houston's. Yeah. Were you guys together? Like, were you Well, that dating? was a first date, yeah. apparently. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, only in the first date. Yeah. And then, but then well, now, now you there. are, I guess. Yeah. What? One day, and then you just lit, she lived there. She just never left. It's like, that's classic. It's <laughs> 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 that sounds right. <laughs> what? what what is the opposite of an Irish goodbye? <laughs> yeah, it's, an, an Irish, I'm here for No, that, no, right? it's called, it's called the Irish, gypsy. I've here. moved in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is my house now. No, I remember we went to... You mean our home. We yeah. went to a... Uh, we went to um, a Hawthorne Heights concert, but like only like 30 people showed up. Sounds about right. So like... No, it was better than that. It was... Uh, it was a club that let an underage in. So by the end of the concert, the only people that could talk to the band at the bar was like three of us. Yeah, yeah. We, we're the only ones there. So they played like, they didn't like scale it down at all. They played hard as like the whole Hawthorne Heights set. Like, but then there's only 30 of us in the bar. And then, yeah, like by the end of the night, once they're done, they were, they, they were the only ones hanging out with the bar to, with us. Well... Uh, the girl, like the girlfriend I had prior to meeting this girl, I, I was with for a while. And one of our songs was a Hawthorne Heights song, Ohio is for lovers. And like, while they were playing it, I had called her and put it on speaker and homegirl like saw that and like got real mad. 
And she was like, we drove separate, remember? Because I drove the Xterra and you drove your car. It's also some classic Jared. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I'm like standing three feet from Hawthorne Heights. I'm like... What's up, Jordan? My Check it out. Girl, Check it out. Girlfriend would like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to be polite. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> like, so we, like, she gets so mad. She's like, the band wants to party with us because we're the only ones drinking. <laughs> They're like, dude, buy some more beers. Let's fucking go. And I'm like, okay. hey, this is like 2010. Yeah, so as you're like, I'm like, fucking Hawthorne Heights, this is fucking badass, dude. Like, let's go. And she's like staring me down. And bro, she had very, very straight brown hair that she parted in the middle and big ass blue eyes. So she's just like glaring. She looked like Wednesday from fucking, you know, but brown hair. Yeah, yeah, okay. And just like evil. Yeah. And she's like... We are going home. I'm like, fucking Hawthorne mm-hmm. Heights. Hawthorne right. Heights wants a party, dude. Like, she's like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're not going to fucking call your ex-girlfriend. You go get your fucking ass in that car right now. I'm like, man, this sucks. <laughs> Dave's like, I'm going to stay here and party with Hawthorne Heights. I'm like, yeah. fuck you, Dave. When you had the ex-girlfriend thing back to the equation, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's starting to make some sense. But- yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I, <laughs> I was just like, hey, it's our song. Hey, hey, Come on. Let's not- hey, remember our song? This is it. I miss you. <laughs> and then yeah, the new girlfriend is just like right there like, what? What, <laughs> what the fuck did you what just do, that? you motherfucker? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> You're like, huh? <laughs> no, 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 don't no. worry about it. <laughs> well, well, to be fair, like yeah. we weren't a thing. Yeah, yeah. She just wouldn't leave my house. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Oh, the same this, one? Yeah. Right. Well, this wasn't, this wasn't official. It okay. would, there was no conversation. She just every time I would so that's leave, how you found a way to get rid of your. Squatter. I would leave and go to work, <laughs> and think that and, and call Dave. I would like text Dave like, "Is she still there?" And he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> or like one day he's like, "She went and got clothes and came back." Like <laughs> she's in the living room right now playing PlayStation. <laughs> Oh, you had a PlayStation? Yeah. Oh, With a projector, dude. That's, oh, that's why she yeah. was there. Our entire yeah. wall. That's don't, why she was there. What? Don't church it up. Your projector screen was a fucking Walmart sheet. It was a sheet. It still looked <laughs> don't good. Don't church it up. You still played Call of Duty eight feet across. Well, yeah. Oh, cool. what, PS2 was out at the time, so that had Three. Like, okay. Well, that's still only like 19 pixels across, so it looked pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> For the time. Yeah. So we drive... The entire way home, because we were in Pensacola, and home is like 38 minutes, uh, I tried to touch her hand, and she smacked me. Rude. And I was like, fuck, dude. I shouldn't have done this that. Is, this, is, this isn't good. I was like, okay, she's real mad. Um, and then we got home and into our room, and she threw her purse down, and... Uh, like started taking off her jewelry and stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take a shower. And I go and take a shower and I'm like, kind of like, God damn, like this is probably going to get into bed and get in a fight and this is going to take forever. And all like, like we're going to be up a while. And then I open the bathroom door and she's just on the bed with her ass in the air and face like the, the bed's like yeah. away from As me, to you. just facing me. Yeah, and I like stop. I'm like, uh, what? She goes, I want you to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> and I was like, that's one way to say sorry. Hmm. Okay. So how long did she continue to stay there? Yeah. Uh, another week or so. Uh, cause we. So it wasn't a goodbye, ass fuck. Mm-hmm. No, no, I don't know. I, it, <laughs> I, I don't know if I, I ever got clarified what that signified. What like, happened? What happened? Yeah. yeah, like I mean, I don't know if she like was just mad, like, and then was like, I should probably not be mad. I should probably let him fuck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> We all have those days. <laughs> We've all had yeah. those days. Yeah. How long do you think she was in that pose before you opened the door? Like, was she playing games on her phone board? Or? <laughs> Dude, there was no games on her phone then. Is she man? playing Caterpillar? Yeah. Like- <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Like, ball. This is one of the most bizarre... This whole fucking, like, 20-some-odd days with this was the most bizarre thing I've ever encountered. Uh, because I believe the next weekend we went to... 
the music festival that's on Pensacola Beach. We went to a cake concert. Hmm. And that was when she finally took me back to her house. And you found the- out what? Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she was a waitress at Johnny Houston's, which is a small bar. Okay. In, uh, and again, like, like she was like hammered and was like, let's just go back to my place. And I'm like, wait, you have a place? Like, we've, we've never, hmm? we've never yeah. indulged this before. Uh, so we go back. It's really like, I mean, I was drunk too when we rolled in. We rolled in super late, like two, three in the morning. So we like go straight to bed, bang, and fucking pass out. Then I wake up in the morning and I'm like looking around and I'm like, dude, this place is like furnished really well, yeah. like really nice furniture, everything. And I'm like, She's still passed out. I'm walking around the house and I'm like looking around like, huh. And then I open the garage, like um, the the door that goes to the garage and there's a center console boat in there and a bunch of fucking scuba gear everywhere. So where's her husband? That's where I was like, there's no way that you just, you have a fucking center console boat and fucking scuba. There's like 50 scuba tanks and like all this stuff. I'm like, So then uh, I, like, I'm walking around, like, you know, in the living room has all these, like, uh, side tables and stuff like that where, like, you know things should be that aren't there. Like pictures? And so I start opening the drawers, framed photos. (sighs) I'm like, oh, fuck. And lo and behold, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> so I rolled back in I was like uh, This is not good And she like kind of like came to And was like What? what, what, what? I was like uh, You just fucked me over really a lot Like because I took you home from your place of work The first night and you've stayed with me for 20 days. And after this 20 days have gone by, we have now come back to your house for the first time. And you live with somebody. And you live with somebody that does a similar job with me in my community. I was just thinking. And I went, yeah. Ooh. so I like jump in my car because I know the group that is out over there right now. Because I was like, I have to get ahead of this. So I get home. And I call two of the wives that were that were on the team that was gone. I go, you guys have to get over here right now. So they both roll in. Because I've been friends with them since I was a young child, 2003. I've kn- known them both. They come in my living room and I'm like, I'm going to tell you this story now the correct way before this gets flipped. And I tell them like, hey, I met her at Johnny Houston's. I asked her out. She said yes. She had me pick her up at Johnny Houston's. We went to my concert. She has not left my house for 20 plus days. And I just went back to her house. And this is somebody from the unit. And they're like, oh, fuck. (laughs) And I was like, I'm telling you guys this now. So when this comes out, like, you know my side of the story. And then... On this episode of Accidental yeah. Jody, Jared Taylor. Yes, that's, <laughs> Accidental Jody is 100% right because I did. I would never do that on purpose. You see how this future congressman just brings the truth out of people? I know, he does, dude. I just want to tell fucking crazy This stories. is your future, America, but... <laughs> yeah. For better or worse, this is your future. No. So, uh, it'll be well, better. As <laughs> I, the current guy, it'll, it'll, be, good. It'll, be, it'll be fucking better. As I was getting ahead of this, she was... Trying something, trying to weave something in, and and yeah, it, it got out, and I started getting messages from my buddies like, "You fucking asshole!" I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ask your wives; they know the real story. Yeah. Do not be mad at me right now." Is that the best rebuttal? It's like, "Hey, hey you, you fucking cheating wife. asshole!" <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you probably like, not. Did you ask your wife? About ask your me. wife about me, bitch. Wait, wait, wait. And, and then my phone died. And then the what? Phone died. Yeah, your wife just left. Ask her about <laughs> what? What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ! Dude? I mean, I was close enough to those families, yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, like, okay, like, okay. like we were all family, so okay, it was good. But 
He got home. He was very angry. He wanted to meet me in Pensacola to fight. And I was like, I, I'm not going to fight you, dude. Like, I, I'm telling you, I didn't know. Like, yeah. why would I know? How would I know? How, how, I've never in what seen, way would you be yeah, at fault? Yeah. Th- 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 like, she has never said anything. She never mentioned anything. And the first time that I go back to her house and realize this is a thing, I, f- I cut it off. Well, is this his wife? No. Oh, no, well, oh, it was yeah, a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, thank that's God. a little different. Thank too. God. It was, it, was a, it was a girlfriend, and they had met a few months prior to him taking off. So, like, it was a fresh yeah, thing. That, but yeah. what he revealed to me after I, like, I told him the whole story, he was like, yeah, dude, I, I actually found out, like, she did a bunch of more stuff. And, like, like and then, then and him, and I, him and I are still cool to this day, you know? And, what an interesting start of a friendship. Yeah, he's a great, great dude, dude. Love that guy. <laughs> but awful, it, awful choice in women. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, yeah, that's we, what they got in common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because again, like uh, years ago, I was going to write the book "Fishing with Nets." This was a chapter. So, like, I had contacted him probably like six, seven years ago. Like, hey, dude, you care if if I tell this story called "I Think I'll Add Her to My Lease"? Like, and he was like, "Yeah." He's like, "I want to because I want to fucking get revenge on this to like say it too." Um, so, is that book back in the cards? No, not really, uh, because I, so I got halfway through it and it just, even though all these stories are true, it just comes off kind of tacky. It just seems like kind of mean. Well, almost. yeah, yeah. It seems kind of mean. It seems kind of braggy. Like, even though like, That's you know, funny, you, though. you that can't, was a great chapter. You can't serve beer in hell. Like is where, yeah, you know, he's yeah, telling yeah. all these, like, like the thing is, or is I, like, I hope they serve beer. In yeah. Hell, I hope or, they serve yeah. beer in hell. Like, these stories are 100% true. He was there for every one of them, almost. Like, he saw, like, one of the chapters was the crockpot will outlast your relationship. And it did. It did. So we made chili, and him and Nick Bradley, my roommate, bet that before the crockpot was washed and put away and cleaned, I would have ended my relationship with the current girl that I had at the house. (laughs) And it did. Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> Damn. I don't think I've ever had anything like that happen. What? Just any kind of... Where someone bamboozled you? Yeah, any kind of rambunctious... Oh, uh, rambunctious little, like, love thing happen. It's where, where, where it was, where it yeah, was yeah. rambunctious or just rocky? Well, I mean, sure, rocky, plenty of that, dude. I, but, uh, this like, rocky yeah, stuff. Yeah. These stories sound fun. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mine were just my painful, were all sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it was wild. Like yeah. we had. That's the thing is like we were doing this shit like yeah. like when it was just him and I and, a, yeah. and Joey Vasatka in a house yeah. with. No furniture in the living room, but a bar and a and a, and a projector with a PlayStation, yeah. and a metal band, Drayton Sawyer and Rhetoric, would frequent our house. They would practice there. Yeah. Like it was just we were wild. Then. You know, I guess it's mm. just kind of where I like. What I don't about know. we? <laughs> what my standard of girlfriend was. Uh, the violin player that, I <laughs> met. Yeah, that turned you down. I was like, oh, she's probably got some. Some yeah, good thoughts she did in that turn head. Me down. <laughs> tried to go out with her. She wouldn't Shit. do it. Yeah, yeah, you tried to hug her and she was like, uh, like well, shook I you went, off. I, I went out with her friend and then her friend kicked me out of the house. <laughs> well, her friend was is still crazy. crazy. I mean, I, I literally still have her saved in my fucking phone as Lacey the crazy Puerto Rican. <laughs> That's fair. That's fun. That's very actually descriptive and yeah. accurate. Uh, yeah. I never had, I think it's just because I like grew up small town. Like there was nothing crazy exciting going on for me. Like some of my funnest times was just like I was only at WVU for like a year and three quarters and that was like always something wild was going on there because it was a big college town and I was a bouncer at a club so like that was fun dude I went uh, to a small Baptist college we didn't do shit yeah man like like when I went to you know I was going to community college at first to start with and it was just boring as shit like I I didn't learn anyone's name at community college like I had no friends that I made at a community college. Like, everyone's just there to be sad. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, like, yeah, when I, whenever I went to the VU, it was... Either it was, be sad or learn how to weld. Yeah, so you're trying to, like... Or get both. Done with your or basics. Both. But, 
yeah, like being a bouncer was a lot of fun. I had a lot of good times there, but like nothing that compares to these such long, in-depth stories you have of these encounters. S- with sleeping women. behind a Chili's, yeah. Yeah, just going home with a van full of four guys shit. and four girls. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, no, I had nothing like that. I just had like goofy shit that would happen at a club, and that would be, I'd be like, ha, oh, that was funny. That was wild. But I'd either, like, I'd either have shit that's, yeah, either really yeah, basic or yeah. shit I absolutely cannot put on the fucking yeah, internet. Yeah. <laughs> like shit that just, yeah. Even without Congress, it's like, oh, yeah. well, you ever get halfway through a story and you realize, wait. oh, that was a felony. Oh, wait, 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 I got to stop. Hold <laughs> on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Back up. I'd like, I, I had one time, like, like because we have our seven level, like, like the, your advanced level as attack P or JTAC yeah. happened at the same place. So, like, all of my <clears throat> friends would come back to be in seven-level school, and that was awesome because oh, yeah. they were all my, my friends. Yeah. But they, they would always get rad, like, multi-room condos and stuff downtown Destin or Fort Walton. So, like, one time I bring a date to one of their badass condos, and, like, we're all hanging out that evening. They're like, man, we're starting to run out of beer. Well, there was a gas station right at the base of the condo. So I was like, well, I'll go get more beer. Like, because this is awesome. Like, they yeah. gave us a room and yeah. stuff because they had a spare room. I was like, this is cool. So I go down, get two cases of beer. I come back up, and, like, my date's missing, and they're all just kind of, like, real quiet looking at me, and I just hear her fucking moaning in the bathroom. I'm like, I was gone for 10 fucking minutes. <laughs> One of my buddies is banging my date in the bathroom, and I went and bought everybody beer. I'm like, this sucks. Oh, oh it, you thought it was rude. your day, but it was <laughs> know, our day. That rude is a good, yeah, yeah it's a good description. That was pretty rude. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, like, she comes out of the bathroom, and she's like, oh, well, should I go? I was like, no, we have a room. <laughs> Jared the gentleman. Did you, uh, like, get with her later? Uh, <laughs> Oh, so that's nah. one thing I, I still haven't done to this day is play Hot Pocket. Yeah, that's, like, that's fresh, dude. That's, that's fresh good, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, dude. Made the best sperm win. Listen, yeah. I just drank a bunch of beers. I was like, ah, we're fun. already here. Yeah. We're already here. It's still warm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, Caleb. Yeah, that's you, dude. It's, uh, <laughs> that is, you better, you better find a fucking condom in the trash can. Oh yeah, yeah. There was yeah. okay. Was, we're good. Right, we were right, good. Right. We were good. Yeah. Yeah. Like wow, this is really lubricant. That was, that oh, was double. Oh, Damn, oh. there's so much goo. In oh, there. Come on, Caleb. <laughs> wow, you must be really into me or something. There's so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Listen, I made poor decisions 15 years ago. Yeah, 13, I, 14 sense. years ago. Yeah, yeah I was I just kind of like, yeah. You definitely stopped it. making those decisions. I just, just, That's just like yeah. fuck it, dude. Whatever. You haven't started thinking before you act at all. What? Come what? on, dude. I. Think about how good the story is going to be. When I told my consultant I was making a campaign stop today, I don't quite think this is what he had in mind. But <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good <laughs> way. I mean, dude, Texas needs you. I mean, Texans need you. All joking aside, I, I definitely think that, you know, it, it, this sort of format, even though it's like crass, it, well, depends. I guess if you're in the Senate now, your staffers can just fuck each other in the Senate chamber. And then you don't get in trouble. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, but this is crass for what people consider, you know, to be what politicians are like. But in my in my eyes, everything I've said on the internet, it's like, how can you attack me? Yeah. Every, you can't say anything about me I haven't already put out there. Yeah, like you're already doing it, so. And it's like, you either come down to my level or you're not relatable. Yeah. Well, you're also a real person. We're yeah. all real people. Allegedly. I'm just a little, you know, on the wild side. Yeah. I've got like some I just don't parts. have that part of my <laughs> brain where I think about consequences. Hey, I'm just willing to deal with consequences. That's fair. Yeah. You know they're coming, called but inhibitions. Yeah, <laughs> inhibitions. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, nah, I got the inhibition part. Dude. I got the inhibition part, man. Yeah, that part sucks, dude. <laughs> Fuck, dude what do how, you guys have? Come- well, I was just gonna say, how do people donate to you? How do they help you? How do they? How do they get you elected so you can make sure our border is not like a mess like it is right now? Oh, it's a clusterfuck. It's yeah, I've, I've been there actually from the campaign tours and everything like that to Eagle Pass to Del Rio to mm-hmm. you know Fort Davis and Alpine and all these places. And it's a fucking nightmare. Everybody there's uh, you know some of the Border Patrol guys, the Nat Guard dudes, they're all willing to talk about it. It's just a behind the scenes. It's such a mess. But, yeah, but how do how do our people that listen in Texas so help you? You can find out more at BrandonHerreraForCongress dot com. Um, if you live in District 23, which spans from the west side of San Antonio all the way out to El Paso, if you live in that district, uh, whether you're, you know, down south toward the border or up north toward, like, you know, Pecos, whatever, 
uh, you can actually vote on, in the primary on March 5th. Uh, it's, it's a very Republican district, so the primary basically decides who will have the seat. So come March 5th, we should know who uh, our next congressman is. I can't wait. Nice. I'm, I'm Fingers actually crossed. cautiously yeah, optimistic. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, I think we'll start making some commercials in the next two weeks for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll decide from there if that's something I can share or not. <laughs> you don't have to share it. It's up to us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, our fundraising, like, I really can't uh, say enough. Like, the fundraising is, like, the the lifeblood of any campaign, and we have kicked wholesale ass so far. So you guys are awesome. Uh, we've raised over $800,000. That's amazing. So far. Congratulations. Since, since, yeah, uh, yeah. since August. 12th. You deserve every bit of it. Yeah. Every time I hear you speak on these, like, when you're with Vivek and everything like that, it's just like, yes, we need that. Yeah. We want that. And, yeah. and, you know, you said your whole vision is to just go in for one term. Do what you can, shake it up, and bounce. If, if yeah, if I, the, it's, it's, it's just the fact that I don't care if I get another term. Yeah. Like, I will go yeah. in, I'll do what's right, whether, you know, that's popular or not. Yeah. And if, you know, bounce. Yeah, we'll see what's up. There's a lot of power to that. There's a lot of power behind not needing it as a career. Yeah. As opposed oh, to yeah, college. absolutely. Yeah. We're excited. Awesome. Are you excited? I'm yeah. excited. Hey, you know what? I might actually vote. I'm eight. You gotta right. move to his district first. Yeah, Get yeah, on that. Yeah. Hey, I, mean, I think actually, you're barely outside of my district. So please don't vote. You're not a Democrat. You can't mail in the ballots. Okay. And, okay. You know, vote for me 87 Maybe times. I'll, I'll, I'll go around town and make some people vote. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't oh worry. damn! Oh. I brought. I literally brought stickers with me just for this bit. Don't worry about Fuck. it, dude. I'll... Go we'll around. And spread vote, some democracy. Yeah, we'll make them vote. You'll make them protecting vote. America and her interests. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, this was a lovely one, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. That was I great. appreciate you guys having me, man. Yeah, we love you fun. every time you Thanks get for here. coming. Absolutely. Absolutely.